violence continues to rage in South Sudan as the army battles rebel forces for control. And in Bor, residents are returning from an overcrowded UN compound where they sought refuge during a rebel siege. Now, the government says its military has now recaptured the town. And as Arwa Damon reports from Uganda, the UN says the fighting between rival ethnic groups may have resulted in mass killings. But a warning here, some of the images in her report are very disturbing. Fighting still continues in the oil-rich northern portion of the country, other pockets as well. But in the flashpoint town of Bord, where much of the violence was intensified at the beginning of the conflict on Wednesday, there was evidence of fresh blood. Images emerging from there showed bodies lining the streets. Some of them burnt. We're not entirely clear why. Stores had been looted. Some stores and homes razed to the ground. We're only just beginning to get an idea of just how terrifying it must have been civilians returning home trying to salvage what they can before going back to UN bases, not feeling entirely safe to be able to stay out on the streets. Throughout the entire country, some 58,000 civilians continue to seek sanctuary at various UN bases, with the UN still saying that it is going to be sending in an additional force of some 6,000 peacekeepers and police officers to try to continue to protect this incredibly vulnerable civilian population. Attentions have been pretty high in South Sudan, especially over the summer when the president, Salva Kiir, dismissed his longtime rival and former vice president, Rayak Mashar. But mid-month, the ethnic tensions between Salva Kiir's Dinka community and Mashar's Nuer community really erupted into this wide-scale mass killing with atrocities being committed on both sides. Both Salva Kiir and Reik Mashad have said that they would be willing to negotiate, but at this point there's been no concrete talk about any sort of a ceasefire or settlement to the ongoing fighting. Arwa Damon, CNN, Kampala.